We're now joined on the sports mix by Craig Hunter, the head coach of Jefferson football. Coach Hunter, first off, congrats on win number one on the year. You guys defeat Spring Valley 45-31 on the road. It seems like you guys still have the Timberwolves number. Give us your thoughts on the game. Uh, You know, we were just able um, to jump out on them, uh, take a big lead early. Uh, You know, I mean, they they don't, they haven't done changed up their defense um, over the last two years that we've seen. So we still saw a lot of things that we were successful with over the last, you know, two years beforehand. Uh, so we were just able to hit hit them with some of those things and um, get some stops and be able to jump out on them early. I think we had like a 24-7 to 7 lead and then 4-10 to 10 going into halftime. And I think, I think the kids I think some of the, I think the kids got a little complacent with the lead after half. Um, let them back in a little bit, made it like a little bit of a fight, but then we closed it out before we were able to close it out in the fourth quarter uh, and stepped up, got some sacks, got some strips, got some turnovers. We were able to close it out. Coach, you mentioned it, uh, big lead for your team early on uh, against Spring Valley. They do come back though and make it a little bit closer. Uh, what were some things you think that kind of went wrong in the second half, but uh, – uh, how proud of your team are you that you were able to regain that focus and close it out? Uh, you know, it, you know when you got a team that's a mixture of young kids and a mixture of, you know, veteran kids who have been here and been through the playoffs with us, um, you know, anytime you can see your kids fight through and push through adversity, it's always a good thing instead of just crumbling when they hit the wall of adversity, you know, trying to push through it. It's a good thing when you see that. Uh, you know, there's some things that they, you know, they, they got an onside kick, um, you know, that, that hurt us. We had a couple of uh, a couple of stall drives, stall drives that hurt us a little bit. You know, they they came out offensively and changed some stuff up. We had to make adjustments on the fly. Um, so I mean, those are the things that happened that let them get back in the game a little bit. Um, other than that, you know, like I said, team saw it, got got in adversity, adversity stuck with it, fought through it instead of just crumbling. Especially you know. When the game before against Sharando, you know, we were in the game and things started, you know, the things started to go the wrong way, and they just kept going that way. Where you know it could have happened again this week, but the kids uh, fought through it and pushed through it on the road, uh, no doubt, with a long trip. Uh, so you know, you're kind of pleased to see that and see them fight. What was the biggest difference that you saw out on the field to have that big offensive explosion to start scoring 24 straight unanswered? Um, I thought, the, you know, we were able to just, like I said, we were able to notify, we were able to see some things in their defense that we were able to have success with um, in prior years. Uh, or, I mean, just making them, and then making them adjust to that. So early on in the game, we hit um, – we hit Tony Allen with a bubble, bubble pass, and he took it. I think like maybe 50, 60 yards for a touchdown. Um, made one guy miss and just gone. Pretty much almost similar to what Keyshawn did in the playoff game two years ago. Uh, so then we were able to get some things going. We were able to get the run game going with Tayshawn. Uh, Tayshawn had a 51 yard run for a touchdown. Dylan had another run, so we were just able to move the ball. We were able to throw the ball, move the ball with the running game. Better. So we had a pretty good balance of things going on. Uh, so that it was able to help us, uh, you know, put the points on the board, and the defense was able to get stops. You know, whether it be uh, three and out, four and out, you know, maybe seven plays and out without letting them get all the way down the field or, t- or getting turnovers, or to stop them to change the field over. So we were able to do those type of things, uh, and with the offense, the offense picked it up and was able. To put points on the board, uh, it helped. That's what helped us literally jump out to that big lead. Coach, you mentioned after those first two games that you felt like your team showed a lot of improvement from week one to week two. Now heading into the bye week, your team is coming off of its best performance by far the season and a good win against a high quality program like Spring Valley. What do you think that does for your team moving forward? Um. It was a it was a well needed win, uh, especially against a good program like Spring Valley going into the bye week. You definitely didn't want to go into the bye week. Oh, three, 
Um, so going into the bye week, we know there's still a lot of things we got to work on. So now we get to regroup, uh, get those things ironed out. What we need to work on, continue to work on. That starts that starts today. Yesterday we just gave him some rest and watched film and recovered, uh, lifted. So today is a day where we get back to work and start get back on the grind of the things we got to continually get better at. So those are things we're going to work on today. Uh, do that tomorrow. We'll see about we'll see how things go. And maybe give them, get them, get them one more day in this week, and then just try to give them some rest so they can recoup and uh, get ready for the following week. Since you brought it up, what are some of those things in your mind that you feel like you guys still need to get better at, and we'll be focusing on uh, during this bye week? <laughs> I don't necessarily want to give away <laughs> any faults that we have. To anybody is listening out there? Can't blame but, me uh, for trying. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna work on those things. We as a coaching staff, we see it. The kids know it. Uh, there's still some things we got to continue to get better at uh, within the defense and within the offense, uh, especially the young kids. I would just say some of the younger kids under making sure they understand the schemes uh, thoroughly uh, this week. I mean, you know, we had a it's a short camp for us. Um, school started a lot earlier, so it was kind of a short camp um, for us. Even though you had the flex days, so it was a short camp for us. So making sure these young kids that maybe hit and missed some of the flex days. Uh, we got time now to get them um, caught up. So we got to try to get them caught up to speed with everything. So that, that's the main focus right now, getting them caught up, fixing things and working on things that we need to work on and continually getting better. And, of course, your bye comes a week before having to take on Martinsburg. So it sounds like this week mainly just focusing on yourselves, but – is there any uh, thoughts about, I guess, how you'll prepare for Martinsburg during this week, or is that more of a next week thing? Um, you know, as as a coaching staff, we'll start preparing this week. Uh, I don't think we want to we want to make sure the kids are more focused on us getting better, the things we need to get better at. Uh, but it gives us a week, another extra week to prepare to get things ready. So when we hit next week, we're ready to go. There's no, there's no installment of game plan on Monday. You can hit the ground running on Monday because we can do that we can do that at the end of this week if we need if need be with the kids. So you know as a coaching staff, yes, we'll start we'll start looking at them and start preparing and devising and getting together and get we'll devising a game plan together against Martinsburg. Uh but as the kids go, they got the film, they can watch film. So they're watching film now. Uh, they got some film so we're gonna watch some film now on. And uh Go from there as far as, you know, like I said, they don't need to overly focus on them like that right now. We're just going to get better within ourselves this week, and then we'll be ready to roll next week. All right, Coach Hunter, before we get you go, get to our fun question for this week. (laughs) What's the most memorable uh, sporting event that you've gone to or been a part of? The most memorable sporting event that I've gone to or been a part of? That's tough. Um, I would say the most memorable, the most important event that I've ever been a part of would be um, 2006 first state championship in track and field. Um, that's the most memorable for me. Uh, you know, that one and the one that I've actually gone to will probably be me actually going down to Texas and going to Texas Stadium before they closed it to see the Cowboys play. So those are probably the two most memorable things for me as far as in my life and sporting events. All right, Coach Hunter. Appreciate the time, as always. All right, thank you. Thank you.